we are going to make a delicious twice baked potato casserole. This is great for Easter coming up, any holiday, barbecues, picnics, potlucks, just for a meal at home. What makes this a twice baked potato? It's the fact that we're going to take a potato and we are going to bake it in the oven and then it's going to be baked again as a casserole. It's not to be confused with mashed potato casserole, which is boiled potatoes, okay? So, delicious flavors here. You ready? Let's go. We are going to start by cleaning our potatoes. Now, I am using russet potatoes, and this is probably a large size here, and there's six of them, or you can go up to eight if you have smaller potatoes than this here. We're just going to scrub these off and get them nice and clean. And then we're just going to take a towel and dry them off really well. Okay, now that we've dried off the potatoes, I'm just placing them on a sheet pan that I've lined with some parchment paper. going to take some cooking oil. Now, if you know my show, you know I tend to use a lot of avocado oil because it's just a good clean oil. Nice and healthy for you too. I'm going to just drizzle some on the potatoes. Oil them good. I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to stab the potato about eight times, probably four in the front and four on the back side. I'll allow that steam to get into the potato. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle the potatoes with salt on all sides. Now, as you can see, we're not covering our potatoes with foil or wrapping them in foil, okay? If we cook them like this right here in the oven, it'll give a nice crisp skin, and plus it'll make the inside of the potatoes nice and fluffy, which we are looking for. I'm gonna place this in my oven. It's been preheating at 425 degrees for 45 minutes. I don't wanna really go over that amount because we don't wanna fully cook the potatoes because they are going to cook again in the oven as the casserole. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're gonna cook our bacon. Now I've got kind of a thick bacon here. I'm just gonna lay it on a sheet pan that has some parchment on it. Now you wanna make sure that your sheet pan has a lip to it. That way the grease from the bacon doesn't roll into your oven. I want about six to eight pieces. I'm gonna place this in my preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until we get a desired crispy texture to the bacon here because we wanna be able to crumble it. Okay, we just pulled the bacon out of the oven. It's nice and crisp. What we're gonna do is just move them over to a plate that has some paper towels on it just to kind of help drain the grease. Okay, our potatoes are now warm to the touch. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut these in half lengthwise. And then kind of go in, break it up a little bit. Now they're still a little firm, which is fine, because they're gonna still cook again in the oven. I've got my large bowl here, and we're just going to spoon out the insides. And another option is you can also just take the peel and just peel it off the potato, and then just cut it into the bowl. Now, if you like the skin on potatoes, you can also like take a few of the potatoes and leave the skins on them. It'll give it like more of a rustic feel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll cut these into pieces and then put those in my bowl. I'm gonna finish these up and then I'm gonna bring you back. Okay, so I have all the potatoes in here and I'm just gonna take a masher and just kind of break these up before we start adding everything else in. Now, if you want like shape to your potatoes and you want big pieces, just keep that in mind when you do this. If 
you need some muscles, I'll go get somebody that's got some. <laughs> now, and you don't have to worry about the skins because my husband, he likes the skins from the potatoes. So he'll be eating those. Your mom likes them too. Yes. My mom, she lives next door to us and she's requested some of the skins too if I didn't use them. So I was really careful taking the potatoes out so she could have her skins. Okay, that's looking really good. Let's go ahead now and talk about the ingredients we're going to put in here. Got one cup of milk. Now I let this sit at room temperature while everything was happening. Two sticks of butter, so this will equal one cup, and I let that sit at room temperature also. That will help incorporate these ingredients. Now I have my cooked bacon here. Minus this one. Y'all, I told y'all to keep an eye on them. <laughs> one cup of sour cream. Now I let this sit out also. Got some green onions, some cheddar cheese. This is going to go in, and then also we're going to use some for the top part of it. Okay, let's go ahead now and start incorporating that into our potatoes. All right, I'm just going to cut my butter into pats here. Since we have six large potatoes in here, that's going to be enough butter there. One cup of milk. Our sour cream, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to crumble two pieces of bacon. I've got some black pepper and some salt. Okay, we're going to mix this all together very carefully. I'm just using a wooden spoon right now until I get it kind of all incorporated. And if I need to mash it anymore, we'll use our masher. Yeah. All right, that's looking really good. I, I really like that consistency there. Mm -hmm. And what's really good is that when we get this in the oven, that butter will melt mm -hmm. all through everything. Make it nice and creamy, too. Maybe drool a little bit. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead now and pour this into a 9 by 13 baking dish. We're going to lightly grease with a non-stick cooking spray. Ooh, just give me a spoon right now. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. That's the hard part. Keeping my husband out of the bowl right now. Hey, I'm being good. But you know, when this goes in the oven, he can enjoy a spoonful of this. <laughs> From the bowl i'll leave a little bit in the bowl for you how about that thank you there you go all right. all right he's happy all right we're gonna smooth this out i love how lumpy this is i don't want it smooth make sure you have nice pieces of potato in there okay we're gonna take another cup of shredded cheese sprinkle it all over the top three pieces of bacon that i've crumbled up now this was our pre-cooked bacon. What a fun way to make potatoes. Anybody can mash a potato. Look at this right here. It won't, it'll be the first dish gone when you make it <laughs> for your meal. I'm ready to place this in our oven that's been preheated at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll be back, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish topping this off and give it a taste for you. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and uh, garnish with some green onions because that's what we like on our potatoes. Now, if you don't like the green onions, you can put some fresh cut parsley on there. Mmm. Mmm put this all together. Oh my gosh, it tastes just like a baked potato. And I like the chunks in there. Oh, it's so good. Why make six baked potatoes? <laughs> you can make it all in one casserole. All right, this was amazing. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Make sure you comment down below what you think of this recipe here. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll know when my shows are posted. 
Don't forget to share this one with family and friends. I'm sure they're going to want to make this one for Easter. All right, I will see you on my next episode.